things, that's John Hare. Today, adding to the range. Uh, today, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna see where I'm at with my historical bow. So, I'm gonna be shooting at. Uh, historical or the kind of targets we'll be shooting at the historical competition. There are three competitions that historical championship, the historical round, distance shooting and the hunting trail. The hunting trail is uh, basically a 3D shooting. Ten targets, one arrow each in each target if I remember correctly. And it doesn't score five, eight, ten and eleven, it scores one, two, three. So with ten arrows you can get thirty points max. The historical round is a target that is, I think, 24 by 60 centimeters. You've got one in the back, and you're shooting at several distances. One hit equals one point. And the last one, the distance, that is also one hit, one point. Uh, you're shooting at a target at 50 meters. Uh, and it's about, I think, usually it's a straw mat, so they're about what, 120 or something. So I'll try the historical round and maybe a few shots at the 3D range to see if I'm at, at the hunting trail with that bow. And I'm going to... I don't have my arrows ready for the distance shooting yet, the ones I've tested. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, just parked. No one here, so I'm gonna warm up and uh, let's get shooting. I'm gonna do some warm up shots first before I hang up the target. I'm gonna shoot at the 30 meter one there, just like it is now. A few shots. Not looking good. Been shooting with the other bow too long. Okay, better. So I got the height right on those. That's a uh, deviate and that's pretty good. I haven't shot this bow in a couple of months now. Line's pretty good without these. I think the historical target is about from here to here, maybe. Still a few deviates, but that's getting there. Okay, one more practice round or warm up round. Not sure what to make of this. One line here, and one line here. Hmm. This is the target for the what's called 
the historical round or historisk runde. You shoot 30 arrows and you can get 30 shots at these distances. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. It says 6 arrows but you shoot 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 and then you do it again. So like I said here, one hit equals one point. I'll place it a little bit higher and then I'm gonna measure up the distances. I'll be shooting at that rectangle here, out there. And then I've made this measuring rope thingy, uh, which makes it easy for me to know my distances when I'm tr practicing. It's just a plank with a rope on it, and at all the distances, uh, I make marks like this so I know where to stand. So there's one here. One here, 24, 18, 12, and 6 meters. So this is the bow I'll be shooting with today. It's about 45 pounds at my draw length, which is less than 28, so maybe 48 pounds. And I'll be shooting with my regular arrows, find 45 to 50. And I've shot with them before, and uh, I don't really notice any differences uh, in the arrows when I'm shooting with the two different bows. Uh, so I think I'll be fine. The exception is, of course, the distance shooting at 50 meters. But I won't be doing that today. Uh, I'll have to make more arrows, and I think I might shorten them even further. So I'll uh, start shooting at 6 meters and move my way back to 30, where I'm at now. I'll just be shooting 6 arrows at a time now, just to get a feel of how I'm shooting with this bow. At these distances but I'm thinking of making a complete test of the championship so I'll be doing the exact same shots well, as far as I can anyway the hunting trail will be different of course uh, but I'm planning to do that later where I do all three exercises but now I'm just gonna start with the historical round do a few shots at the animals and I'll sum up afterwards and see where I'm at all right let's shoot okay I'm at six meters now six meters should be <laughs> Fine, but you never know. Okay, so let's kind of place this camera somewhere and start shooting. All right, six arrows at six meters. Focusing on my technique now because it's easy to just think it's easy because it's close. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty nice group. All right, let's move on to twelve. focused on my technique, unfortunately, but still got hits, so those are all hits, so six from the last one, six from this round, 12 points so far. Okay, up to 18 meters. The problem now is that at this distance, I only see the rectangle. I can't see any, like, previous hits, like small marks in the uh, target, so that means that there's nothing for me to focus on. Uh, Actually, I can from this distance, but the next one and 30, it will be difficult. So I'll have to focus on the entire square somehow. Yeah. So that's one of the issues I'm having. All right, 18 meters, let's go.
miss it. God damn it. I was not focused on that last one. But, uh, I paid the price. So, really nice group here. Those three, I mean, look at that. 18 meters inside, those will all be excess, actually. Okay, so three, four, five, and a miss. So that's six, six, and five. So 12 to seven, that's 17 points, right? Okay, there's 12. 18. And 24. This is where it gets interesting. Oh, the pressure's on. It's a lot more difficult to shoot six arrows than three arrows. Or three and three arrows. Because now I've hit with all of them. And the pressure increases to continue hitting. But I won't tell you the rest. You'll see when we get there. That's six arrows at 24 meters. Let's check the score. <laughs> Not as nice a group, but still, six hits. That means 23 points. All right, back to home base, 30 meters. The shooting line is between these two studs, I guess you'd call it. So normally I would be standing on each side of it. But now I'm standing behind it. It's a little different, but I think we'll be fine. Let's see what we got. <laughs> so, right, a single hit, just barely. If it wasn't like this, that would not count, but it is in the front. So 23 plus 1 point makes 24. Still got a ways to go on that last one. But uh, let's do the hunting trail now. I said in the first video that uh, this will be a series of me shooting uh, uh, 3D. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's not the case. I realized it's like a vlog or a visual journal, maybe? Uh, yeah, I like that better. So why not include the others, the other forms of archery I do? Well, the other forms. I don't do a lot of that different forms I'm shooting longbows uh, but um, I was thinking of making those separate videos like historical shooting and but but now I think I'm just gonna do the vlog and uh, sometimes it's 3d sometimes it's uh, regular targets sometimes it's historical but I will be making other playlists uh, other videos with for instance DIY stuff and uh, 
testing these stuff out. So, yeah, we'll see how this channel evolves. I've been to this uh, historical competitions three times. The last time I won, actually, and I was the champion for a day or two. No, two days, three days. Uh, because uh, I re realized, or it was brought to my attention, that my bow was illegal. I did not know that. It's actually the, same, it's the other bow I'm shooting with, or what I'm shooting 3D. It has a fiberglass backing, which I didn't know. Uh, I bought it at a historical fair, I didn't know anything about bows. And uh, uh, the, the day after the competition, the guy who came in second, me and him were, he's a really good archer, he's shooting a 90 pound bow. It was so fun shooting with him. Me and him and some others were just having fun in the hunting trail and uh, we were looking at each other's bows and he was like, this one has fiberglass on it. And I realized immediately, oh, fuck, if that's true, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm screwed. Because I knew that fiberglass wasn't allowed. And I was like, no, 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 I'll put a couple of uh, coatings of, uh, of uh, varnish on it, probably that, it's really thick. You know, and he was like, no, no, no. And then he showed me again at the knock, there, you could actually see the fiberglass a lot better. Because it was going through, actually I could show you on the other boat. And I was like, oh, what the hell, is it, is it true? And I, I contacted the, the manufacturer, sent an email on my way home, I couldn't get it out of my mind, so I was like, I, well, I was driving home, I just stopped after 10 minutes, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta figure, figure this out. So I sent them an email and said, hi, I really like your bow, I bought this uh, bow, I sent some pictures of it, and uh, can you tell me what it's made of? And they told me, oh, it's, it's ash and fiberglass. And I was like, ah, that was, uh, that was a rough couple of days, or rough week, because it was like, uh, so I contacted the Norwegian Longbow Guild and uh, told them, and uh, I um, I was no longer the champion, but I'm I really want to do it this year again. So with a legal bow, so that's what I'm shooting. Why I'm shooting this now, and I was going somewhere with this. I don't I, I forgot. What was it? Oh yeah, uh, I was going to tell you about the hunting drill. Uh, because, like I said, I've been, uh, that's where I was starting. <laughs> I've been doing it a couple of times. I think I've participated three times. In my experience, it's, uh, the hunting trail consists of mm, basically small, the smaller animals, not large ones, maybe one or two large ones, and close, relatively close distances. So I'm going to be focusing on that. Uh, and I'm going to be counting the 11 as a three-pointer, and... 10 and 8 as 2, and the rest of the animal as uh, 5, or as 1. So there might be some other shots as well, I might be increasing distances, but for now I'm just going to try that just to see. Next time I might vary a little bit more, but let's start the hunting trail now. I'm going to go even closer than I usually do. This is pretty good. I'll do the bear as well, but closer than I usually do it, like the fishes, but not as close as I did with the fishes. So maybe, maybe around here, that's a good distance. Nice direction, a little low. Like I said, I'll be counting the body as one, these two as two points and this one is three so we've got the ghost and we got a small bear here I think I'll shoot at both of them at different distances
two and one. So I'll be shooting at both pheasants at different distances, maybe, yeah, maybe here and here. One point, and when I went a little closer, a nice a log, so I miss. So that's five targets and six points. Huh. I forgot about that. I was gonna say I'll skip the deer, but we got another one here. I wanna show you that. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it, but I'm not sure it's... I'm not sure if it should count. It's down there. So it's very steep. So I'm out here and down there. I guess you didn't get those amazing shots. Well, it wasn't amazing, but it, there were hits. So eight and five. Okay, like I said, the last one didn't count, but I still think it's a good idea to practice downward shots. So, I'm gonna try here, between those two, here and down at the tier. One point. We got a medium sized target. I think I should try that. Normally I shoot it up at like over here, the blue bag here. But now I'm gonna maybe at the white one? Ah, here, just in front of the white one. Not too happy with my technique now. It does feel different shooting this bow. It's all right, that's two points. I've forgotten the score now, so I'm just gonna have to look at the footage and sum up afterwards. Uh, but that was target number eight. We had fish, bear, ghost, small bear, pheasant, pheasant, the tiur, the boar, it makes eight, so two targets left. And I think I'm just gonna do two of the targets at the range. And then I have to go home. Let's do the rabbit and let's do the pig. Still just the two, even though I was really close. Ah, oh, this one has to be two points. I think one, two, three. Nice. Two points. Let's try this one, see if I can hit it. It's about 15 meters maybe. One, two, I think that's a hit. Yeah, three hits. And one, two, three, four. Okay, even though I won't be shooting these arrows, I just Feel like having a go at the 50 meters mark which is this one isn't it that's 30 40 50 okay
that was the last one. That was six arrows, so that's one round. And you do that five times. But I've got one more, so I'm going to shoot it. That one we call from hitting something over here, over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that means five out of six arrows. So if that I do that every round, that would be five arrows now, so twenty-five points. That's that's where I should be at at least. But it's gonna be interesting to see if the other arrows make a difference because I can aim a little lower. But not as low as I want though. So we'll see. Alright, so I'm gonna go sum up and uh yeah, we'll see what we get. Toodles!